come now to verse 23 of the 8th chapter of the Gospel of John. Jesus has been indicating to the religious leaders with whom he is in this conversation that he is going to be going somewhere, and where he goes they won't be able to follow, and they sort of sarcastically sneer in the previous verse, well, what's he going to do? Is he going to kill himself? They uh, obviously are not trying to take very seriously what is apparently Jesus' reference to the ascension, which will be occurring soon enough. Jesus responds to their remark, this kind of mocking attitude that undoubtedly showed through in the statement that they made, saying, Kai, the connective, and elegen, the uh, imperfect, third person singular, imperfect active indicative of lego, I say, this is he was saying, he was saying autois, dative case, masculine, plural, he was saying autois to them who mace, uh, the presence of the pronoun, of course, giving emphasis to it. So you, with emphasis, ek preposition, takes the genitive tone, genitive plural, uh, ek tone kato esta. So you of kato is the indeclinable adverb, which means beneath or under, something like that. So you of the under. Uh, the plural here, the under things, we might say, esta, you are. So you are of the things that are from underneath. You are from the lower regions, you might say, something like that. Really referring simply to being of this world, uh, akin to the statement Jesus makes elsewhere concerning the flesh, the flesh being of this world. And then in a sharp contrast, ego, of course, standing in opposition to the uh, emphasis on the humase, I, ego, ek, pre same preposition, takes the genitive, tone, ano. This is, again, an indeclinable adverb. It stands in contrast to kato, ano, from above, so a me, I am, of the above things. So you are of this world, you are of this region, I am from above. And then going back to the uh, former emphasis, you, and this stands in apposition to the prior statement, a kind of Hebrew parallelism here, really. So you, ek tutu, this is the preposition, takes the genitive, in this case the demonstrative pronoun, uh, genitive, singular, masculine, of this, uh, idiomatically includes the definite article, so is the kosmu world, esta, uh, second person plural of a me, I am, you are, so you are of this world, and then again in, in uh, contrast to it, ego, uk amy, but I, not I am, ek to cosmo, of this world. And now this goes at the end, giving it a little bit of additional emphasis. So you are of this world, I am not of this world. The sharp contrast here, of course, these people are finding unfathomable what Jesus has been saying of himself, and Jesus gives the explanation for that, that at least at this juncture in their uh, understanding of things, they are simply of this world. Remarkable, of course, because he's uh, uh, addressing himself to these who are the religious leaders. They're the ones who are supposed to be the most insightful, have the greatest understanding of these matters, and yet the infinite chasm that lies there between their understanding of things and Jesus' own understanding is rooted in the fact that they have uh, no idea of his origins, his destiny, his significance, and Jesus really puts it in sharp contrast in the statement we have before us here.